So today I'm going to be presenting some items to you. Okay. And these items I am going to present to you in sets of two. Okay. And the reason for that is that I'm going to ask you to choose between the two items which one you like better. Okay. Of course, there is no wrong or right answer. Okay. It's just a very simple survey. All right, and there is a theme for all of today's items. And that theme is going to be fabrics or clothing items. Okay. Okay, so we have these items here to the side. So you can just sit back and relax and I will show these items to you. And you tell me which you like better of each pair, okay? All right, let's get started. All right, so the first item of the first set is this short-sleeved button down top okay so you can see it has a collar and the collar has this polka dot lining on the inside okay it's got brown colored buttons. The material is very soft. There are no pockets on the front. And the back is plain with a seam straight across the upper back. Okay, so that is your first choice from the first set. And the item that I'd like you to compare that with is this top right here. Okay. You can see this is a very similarly styled shirt. The color is a light blue. You can see it has a collar and on the inside has this polka dot lining. Also has a little bit darker gray colored buttons. Okay, short sleeve, no pockets. And the back is the same with the hemline here laterally across the top of the back. Okay, so you tell me which you prefer. Number one or number two. Number one or number two. Okay. Very good. Off to a good start. For set number one, 
improper number. Okay. All right, we can move on to the next pair of items. So the first item from the second set is another shirt. This one is a crew neck. It has a black collar here or a black neckline. The material is a bit stretchy. You can see it has black and white stripes running vertically along the length of the shirt. Short sleeved. And it has a front pocket. Okay. The back of the shirt is plain. Okay, the pattern is uniform all around the shirt. So that's the first choice. And the item I'd like you to compare that one with is this top here. This one is a polo style shirt. It's in a pink Color. This one has a collar, it has two buttons, actually three buttons. on the front and the back is plain. Okay, so now let's see to show you again. This is item number one, the black and white shirt. Or the pink shirt. Okay, so which do you like? Shirt number one or shirt number two? That's shirt number one. Shirt number two. So the next set of items are going to be ties. Okay, so this is your first item from this group. Okay, this is a green colored tie. And you can see it has a floral lacy print on the tie. Okay, so that is tie number one. And I would like for you to compare that one to this tie here. 
sky number two. The light blue background. Okay, and it has a sort of paisley print in darker blue outline. Okay, so that is tie number two. So which do you prefer? Tie number one. Or tie number two. Okay. Set number three, you prefer tie number, okay, great, I believe I have two more sets of ties. Okay, for the next set. The first tie is this black and white patterned tie. See the detail in the print is very small. It's black and white, sort of diamond pattern. That's tie number one. And I'd like for you to compare that tie to this one here. This one is yellow background, sort of mustardy color. And it has sort of diamond print as well. And the print is in red and blue. Okay. So, which do you prefer? Tie number one? Or? Tie number two. Four. Group number four. You prefer tie number. Okay. All right. One more group of ties. The first tie from the last set of ties is this one here. This is a navy blue colored tie and there's no print. But if you look closely in the right lighting, you can see it has a bit of a shimmer to it. So that is tie number one. And tie number two, sort of a holiday print tie, you see, it's red color and it's got some gray polka dots. Also has a bit of a sparkle in the right angle and lighting. Okay, so 
So that's tie number two. Okay, so which do you choose? Tie number one. dresses. You can see this dress is very sparkly. Lots of sequins. Okay, it's a sleeveless dress. Comes in a v-neck. The front. The back of the dress is also a lower v-neck. Okay, that's a nice pattern from the sequence. And it has a zip in the back. Sort of a nice long zip there. And at the bottom, it has this fringe detail. zip closure.
dress number one. Or dress number two. Okay. Dress number one. Or dress number two. for you to choose from here. Okay, the first dress here is a velvety floral dress. It's very soft. You can see it has a floral pattern. Pink flowers, white. It is a longer, longer length. You can see it is a form fitting style with a bit of a cowl neck. Spaghetti straps. The back is straight across the top of the back. And it is pretty stretchy, so it's a slip on style dress. That's dress number one. And dress number two is a full length dress. Comes all the way down to the ankle. Has sort of the crushed material there. It's a navy blue color. It also has these spaghetti straps, but it has these wider arm openings here so that the straps come a little closer to the neck. This one has a bit of a addition of some beading at the neckline. It also has a cinched waist here. It's a little bit more loose fitting, but still still fits the body. So this one is dress number two. Okay. Okay. So let's see which do you prefer. Dress number one or dress number 
Press number two. Okay, again, that's dress number one. Dress number two. Okay, so four. Let's see, is this group seven? You prefer dress. Number. All right. All right, so now we're going to move on to another category of clothing. And that will be denim. Okay. Okay. So the first item here I have are a pair of blue denim shorts. These are distressed. You can see the tears at the bottom on both sides. Okay, a little bit at the top as well. They have an all button fly here. The buttons all the way up. Okay. And the back has two normal sized pockets. Full-sized pockets on both sides. Okay, a pair of blue cut-off denim shorts. That's item number one. And I'd like for you to compare those to these here. These are gray denim. They are also cut off at the bottom, with a little bit of fringe. Okay, these are a little longer in length. Closer to a Bermuda style. They have a button and a zip closure. They're a bit Okay, two full-sized pockets in the back. Okay, so which do you prefer from this set? Item number one. Or item number two. Okay. So for group number eight, you proof. Item number okay. Okay, I have one more pair here of denim shorts. Item number one from this group is a pair of green colored cut off denim shorts. 
these are much shorter in length and they have some of the fraying at the bottom light green in color okay, a little bit of de-stress detail here two full-sized pockets with a button and zip closure okay. okay and I'd like you to compare those with these white denim shorts okay, so these are not distressed at all okay they are also shorter in length okay they have a button and a zip as well they've got two front pockets and on the back two full-sized pockets as well So, let's see Which do you choose? Item number one Or Item number two So that 
that's item number one. And item number two is another sleeveless top. Item number one or item number two. Okay. So let's see. Okay. For this group. You choose the num number, okay. All right, I believe I have, let's see, one, two, three, I think that's three more sets of items, okay. So the first item in the next set is this blouse. Okay. So this is a gray blouse. It's smooth with no texture or pattern on the top. a bit of a v-neck in the front. It is very short-sleeved here. It's a bit of a cap sleeve. And you can see it does have a zipper in the front. And to that 
I'd like you to compare this top item number two okay this is a very similarly styled blouse it's a little more silky in the material this one is a light green color okay has a very similar fit a bit of a casual loose fitted blouse with a sleeve about the same length however this one has a cuff on the sleeve that is sewn in place this top also has a zip in the front And the back is also plain. Okay, so that's item number two. So which do you prefer? From this group Item number one Or item number two Item one and item two. Okay. So for this group, you prefer. Item number All right For our last two groups, we'll be looking at blouses. This is item number one. Okay, this is a long sleeved blouse. It is a green color. See? And you can see that it is sheer. Let's look at the detail. It has a rounded collar here that comes very close to the neck. And it is in black. And there is some black. Detail here running vertically down the front of the blouse. There's a button down top. It's all the way down. The sleeves are also uh, with 
buttons and a cuff at the end of the sleeve. Okay. When we turn the blouse around, it's a little bit shorter in the back. And there is a seam running vertically straight down the center of the back. Okay. So that is item number one. And item number two is a similar style. This is also a sheer button down blouse. This one is in an ivory color. The collar is a different style here as it folds over. This blouse is also buttoned down, all the way down. Okay. This blouse has two front pockets. Okay, one on each side. And there is a bit of ruching detail at the shoulder on both sides and on the back okay it does have a bit of a thicker layered material here at the top of the back and the lower portion is sheer. There is a bit of ruching in the center of the upper back. There's also a bit of decorative seams here running along both sides about the waist. Okay, so that is top number two. So which do you prefer? Top number one? Or top number two. Okay, this is item number one. And item number two. For this group, you prefer item number. All right, let's have a look at our last group. From this group is another blouse. Okay. 
this is a black top. You can see it is a bit, a bit sheer. Okay. Now this top has two sort of decorative zip pockets on each side of the front. Okay, one here as well. It has a rounded neckline. And there are a few buttons at the top, but they do not run the length of the blouse, so it is more of a slip-on type top. It's about a three-quarter length sleeve, and it has a little strap with a button here to hold the sleeve up a bit. Okay. It has that on each side. There is also a bit of ruching here at this seam on the shoulder. And the back also has some ruching detail running across the seam, the upper back of the blouse. Okay, so this is blouse number one. in a shade of green. Okay. Okay. So this blouse doesn't have too much detail in the front. Besides the black sort of blocking on the top coming around the top of the back. It's a bit longer in length. Okay. And there is a bit of ruching here in the center of the back. This one is also with a three-quarter length sleeve. Also has the strap with the button to hold the sleeve up a bit. And this blouse has a little loop for a belt. It's actually just a nice thin string that you can wrap around. And bring through to the other side. And can I put a little tie, maybe a little bow or a knot. Or you could tie it around the the back as well if you'd like. Okay. 
Okay, so that is top number two. Okay, so which top do you prefer from this set? Item number one.